AutoCAD that I think has gone unnoticed or unused, uh, definitely underutilized, than AutoCAD is what's referred to as sheet sets. Now sheet sets are a project management type tool built right into AutoCAD. So I'm going to go to my open option here and I'm going to open a sheet set and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open one of the, the sample projects. Now sheet sets have gone mostly untouched for, for a number of releases. So really regardless if you're using 2014 or 2015, 2016, it's really the same workflow, same functionality. So by opening this, what it's done is it's launched the Sheet Set Manager. And this is your central hub um, of working with your sheet sets. Now it is a palette, so notice I can resize it, I can dock it, I can auto hide it, I can make it transparent. Um, so it's really, it's there when you need it, but it can definitely get out of the way when you don't need it. Now the way that sheet sets work is, notice that there's three tabs here. I've got my sheet list, and this is your main area for working with the sheet set. I've got my sheet views. These are all the available views that I can add to my various sheets. And then I got my model view. So this is setting where the drawings are located, the ones that I want to use to generate the views. Now in this part here, this, this video here, I'm not going to look at these two tabs. I'm just going to focus on the sheet list and just show some of the base functionality within here. Now I'm going to expand the general area here. I'm going to expand architectural. I'm going to expand interiors. And notice how it's, it's allowing me to group and organize the drawings related to this project. Now these drawings don't only have to be in one folder, one directory. They can really be scattered across your system or the network, but it's a way to pull these together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on the first floor plan here and it's going to open that drawing. But what it's also done is notice the little lock on, on it. So what that's going to show is it's going to show that it's it's open by me. So I can see it's currently open by M. Thomas. I can see when it was last saved. Um, I can see some information about it, including the location and a thumbnail. Now, it's showing a lock um, that it's, it's open by me. It will also show a lock for anybody else who's working on the same sheet set. So that's right, you can actually create one sheet set, one DST file, and have multiple people working on the same sheet set at the same time. And it will take care of telling you what sheets are available to be edited or not. Or if I'm looking at this going, oh, I'd really like to work on that. Oh, I can see M. Thomas has got to open. I'm going to pick up the phone and phone him and see how much longer it's going to be for him. Now, what I'd like to do is I'm going to right click on here. And we talked about the, the open here. But notice directly from here, I can actually publish it. And notice the large amount of options here. So I can publish to DWF, I can publish to PDF, I can plot it, um, I can actually apply a different page setup, and I can, I can publish it from here. Now I can do that from a drawing specific. I can actually use the control key or shift key and select multiple drawings, I guess sheets in this case, and I can plot them that way. I can go from a, from a folder or a, a a category here so I can actually publish it from here with the same options or I can go right to the very top of the project and I can actually publish those from there. I can also do a e-transmit. So an e-transmit, if you've never used e-transmit, it's a way to bundle and collect um, everything related to the drawing. Now in this case e-transmit is actually going to work with my sheet set. So if I was to come up here and I was to e-transmit, what it's going to do is it's going to collect every drawing, every image, every XREF, and it's going to collect it for me into um, you know, a zip file or um, maybe a folder. And it's a great way to take it and send it to somebody else because that way you're not going to get the phone call and, oh, you forgot about that XREF. Oh, you forgot about the image in the XREF. Oh, you forgot about this font. It takes care of the effort of collecting everything together, which is, which is great, especially when, you're, when you're, your data is scattered you know, all over the place in different um, networks or locations, different folder locations. It takes care of, of gathering that for you. So you can see here that in my transmit, my transmittal setup here, it's collected all the, the drawings. Um, I can see the data here. So in this case, it's just drawings um, as well as the sheet set files. I can also come in here and I can pick from different setups. So maybe the setup here is to create a zip file. Maybe it's to save to an older file format. Maybe I'd like to place all the files into one folder instead of you know mimicking the folder structure. 
Maybe I want to include the fonts. Maybe I want to unload file references. Maybe I want to purge the drawings. So you can see there's a lot of, a lot of great things that can happen from this. Another option which is very similar to eTransmit, but there is actually an archive option. And the archive option is, is based off of eTransmit, but it's more intended for in-house type stuff. So it's more intended to create a snapshot of your, of your project at a particular time. So we've kind of reached milestone one. I'm going to archive it in case we ever need to go back or we need to revert back to something because when we started working on phase two of the project, we made some mistakes and, and made some changes that maybe we shouldn't have. So as you can see here, it's kind of a mini e-transmit. Um, it's collecting all the data, but it's it's specific to archiving. It's not specific to sending it out to, to someone else. So you can see the options quite are quite the same. Um, but I still can include various files. I can still, you know, set the default plot or none. I can still purge the drawings, and I can still determine how I'm collecting that information and what I'm doing with the folder structure. So those are kind of two um, kind of top level advantages to working with a sheet set. So advantage number one is that you can organize and collect data from a from a, a wide um, variety of sources so different folders different locations you can collect it into one area second advantage is you can use it amongst your team so you got multiple people who are going to work on these drawings um, you know instead of kind of flying blindly and hoping that a drawing is available they can come in here and use this specifically and see you know who's working on what what's available um, and and use that as 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 the tool the third advantage is, is the project level plotting um, and publishing and the project level archiving and e-transmit. So you can see some of the options here um, are at the top here as well to publish and, and plot that. So those are just a few of the, the highlights of, of working with um, the Sheet Set Manager. In future videos we'll, we'll cover how to work with the files, how to add sheets, how to add views. Um, we'll also take a look at um, working with files and we'll also take a look at Vault and, and Sheet Set because it, it, it provides some interesting um, dynamics for working with Sheet Sets.